noted, 1-7-2014. Hi, I'm Dr. Kathy Julie. I've got another North Carolina visitor. Please introduce yourself. I'm Marianne Falkmer. Yep. Marianne is incredible. She's our photographer for Immaculate Dissection. She's also a gym owner. Tell us a little bit about your gym. Yeah, we have Body Fit Fitness Therapy in Eden, North Carolina. Right on. And you had made a great point to me about people establishing balance in some of your courses. Can you tell us a little bit about your troubles with balance? Um, well, as you age, of course, um, you lose balance, um, mobility and, and balance. So um, that's an issue for us baby boomers that are 40 and over. So. <laughs> I'm getting close to 40. <laughs> okay, so um, what happens with a lot of people is that we develop these, this stiffness around the foot that can help us you know, have a lot of trouble stabilizing the foot. Uh, also, we start to lose our vision as we age. It's called presbyopia, and uh, it, it stinks that our vision starts to go. But when your vision starts to go, your balance starts to go. Uh, vision is one third of the equilibrium component along with proprioception, position sensing, and the vestibular apparatus. Um, also, people that age don't tend to drink as much. And so we end up getting a little bit dehydrated, a little bit electrolyte deficient, and our vestibular apparatus doesn't have that normal concentration of lymph. So here's three things to do to improve your balance. Drink more water and add electrolytes. Make sure that you set up the vestibular apparatus and have good fluid systems. That inner ear is full of fluid, right? Don't forget it. You want better balance, you gotta drink fluid. Second, uh, proprioception. Be barefoot as often as possible. We're gonna get your feet actually moving and get the joints to be more mobile so that we can actually create um, more proprioceptive rich environment. So barefoot is key. Um, if you don't feel comfortable being barefoot, um, try to hold on to a wall. Um, if you feel like you're not uh, quite comfortable and you want to depend on your shoes too much. I always say a cushy shoe equals a cushy body because if you're depending upon your shoe for stability, you're not depending upon your foot for stability. So a lot of people have balance problems because of their shoes. Try to get a little closer to the ground with your shoes and try to be barefoot. Um, third, vision. You always want to have a focal point. Um, your husband was making a really good point earlier and he was stating that if the eyes are all over the place, the body's all over the place. And I agree! Your body goes where your eyes go. And so if your eyes are not looking directly on a target, you're in trouble. So those are some quick tips just from the three components of the, the equilibrium apparatus. But let's get you actually doing some stuff, okay? So if we come to the ground a little bit, I want you to have a seat, and I want you to start to move your toes, and start to feel if you feel any restriction in any parts of your foot. And then you can take your foot and try to roll your toes under, and see if you can get some mobility. She's got some pretty decent mobility in the foot, right? And then spread your toes apart. That's a struggle. That's, 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 that's a struggle, right? Yeah. Yeah. So if you're having trouble spreading the toes, you're actually decreasing the surface area on the floor, right? Right. Also, if the toes tend towards hammering or flexion, uh, you end up tenting up and losing some of the stability on the foot. So you, you're set up for dysfunction right before you even try the single leg stance. So put your fingers in between your toes, <clears throat> and you can wear yoga toes at night to sleep in. Mm -hmm. Those are pretty helpful for trying to space the toes. And then just try to move those in every direction. If you're having trouble getting your fingers between your toes, you need to get your fingers between your toes. So you need to work on that. <laughs> look at that! She's having trouble! <laughs> so she can try to do single leg stands all she wants, but she can be doing it on an unstable, immobile platform. So getting this, these toes to move better is going to benefit your single leg stands. Okay. Guaranteed. All okay. right. Okay. Great. So now try to spread the toes apart. And now I want you to pin your toes down and try to raise them one by one. Yeah, you just pin those suckers down. I'm gonna try to pin it for you. Okay. Okay, and then try to just raise your big toe. Okay. And try to raise your second toe. Excellent. Try to raise your third toe. Look at oh, it. Oh, that's right. She <laughs> should look at it. That's the rules. Yeah. Of equilibrium. Good. If you ever seen the movie Kill Bill, she says wiggle your toe to try to get her toes to move. There we go. Oh, wow, that pinky's hard, right? Yeah. So people that overly pronate the foot have a lot of trouble controlling some of these toes. Um, supination as well, you might have trouble controlling the toes. Um, look at that arch though. <laughs> yeah, what's up? Um, so when you're in a single leg stance, you actually don't want to be tented up in the arch. You want it to be actually a little closer to the ground in mid stance. So it already sets you up for, for problems because you're on the outside of your foot. Right? You know, it's very hard to stabilize yourself with less of a stable platform. So um, once you've done that, now we stand up and try to do some active mobility onto the foot and try to widen out the toes. And I have a separate video on um, trying to foot dial, okay. but what you want to do is try to bring your first base of the toe, fifth base of the toe, and heel into the ground. And you want to do the, the Dorothy, it's, there's no place like home, so you try to click your heels together. So try
try to keep your toes separated. You can see that your toes try to come together. Come together. Yeah. Right. So try to increase the surface area contact of the foot onto the ground and try to shift some of the weight into the posterior. Your heel's big for a reason. <laughs> it's supposed to help stabilize you. But most people ride into the front of their foot. Good. Excellent. So now, um, to try to establish some balance, one of the keys to balance is abdominal stability. So let's go into half kneeling, where you have one leg down, one leg forward, and you're going to bring your hip a little bit more forward. Yeah. Good. Relax your Head up, chin in. Get your eyes focused on a target. Put your tongue on the roof of your mouth, kind of open up your airway, and you're just going to hang out there and breathe. Good. Excellent. Establishing stability on the hip is really, really crucial to having stability in a single leg stance. A lot of people rush the gun. They go right to trying to stand on one leg when it's hard for them to even half kneel. So you gotta crawl before you walk. Good. And you can try to lift this foot up in the air a little bit. All the way up. All the way up. Out. All the way up. Yeah. You can see it's pretty tough. Right? Yeah, that's difficult. And then relax your foot down. Get your stability again. Bring this foot out a little bit for me, Marianne. There you go. And lift this foot up in the back. Lift it up. Good, relax your shoulders. You see how tight she stays up top? If you're carrying tension in the shoulders, guess where you're not carrying tension? In the gut. The higher the shoulders go, the more the gut destabilizes. So pull those ribs down a little bit and relax your shoulders. There we go. Most people live with all this tension in the shoulders and it throws off balance. Good. So when you get really good, you can lift both feet. You get it to a stable position and then you lift them both. And you won't move. But that takes some practice. That's I gotta practice that. That's what people should be practicing. They should be practicing that before they practice single leg stance. Yeah. How are you gonna do it on one leg if you can't do it on a knee? So the, the progressions of things teach the brain and coach the brain into a healthy mechanism of trying to stabilize on one leg. So after you stand up, then you go back, and then you start to practice your single leg stance on one leg by just sliding the foot up and then planting. But you want to be head straight ahead. You don't want to actually look at your foot. So, Think of what you just learned here. Okay. And really flatten out that foot. Try to get your three points of contact. And then slide up. Good! And relax. Drop your shoulders. Look straight ahead on your target. Good! And relax. She's definitely growing, but a, a lot of people can't make that jump. Right. Especially if they have immobility of the foot, they have dehydration, they have poor vision. You have a lot of things working against you with balance. It's not just about, oh, I don't have balance, therefore I just can't ever have it. You can absolutely get it back, but it might take a couple of steps to get you there. Mm -hmm. Try out these tips, see if it doesn't work for you. Definitely. I bet it's going to work for your clients too. Definitely. You begin sending me emails, okay. telling me how good everything's going, but try this stuff out, it really works. Make the system work for you, or just regress in order to progress. Dr. Kathy Dooley, I'll see you next time.